Be it, Dave. It's Bobby Joe's dad. We're all set. No, you can get up. Ready, you bitch. Bob, sir. <coughs> and we're live in five, four, three, two, one. PMT Radio Radio Radio. Far and good evening, my fellow travellers of the airwaves. It be time, my seditious little friends, for our broadcast of the day. For any new listeners out there, don't touch that dial. This is not reality television. This is not government land entertainment meant to sedate your brain pad. This is live. This is fruity and outrageously illegal. So illegal, in fact, I'd like to throw you in jail just for listening to me so far. So get your faces out of the soilent green and hold on to your knickers. I'm Captain Ezekiel Straw in a pirate ship Prospero, and this be promiscuous maritime transmission. We start off our evening's entertainment with a black comedy hour. But first, a word from our sponsor. This is a public information broadcast by the National Association for the Conservation of Key Energy Reserve, NACO. Over a million pounds worth of electricity a day will be spent this winter by old people trying to keep warm. And it's the same amount again on the production of pet food. Save energy by killing and dismembering old age pensioners and feeding them to your dog. <laughs> this has been a public information broadcast by the National Association for the Conservation of Key Energy Reserves. Yes, this with another load of old knackers. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. How can I help you? Well, basically, I've got a party coming up and I need a few cases of decent quality Rioja. Or Tempranillo. Eh, uh, sorry, sir. Can I just stop you there? What seems to be the problem? Well, I think you're in the wrong shop, sir. What do you mean? Well, I think you need the off-license down the road. I think it's like Aldi. You've probably got a What? What are you on about? You are a wine shop, aren't you? Do we look like a wine shop, sir? Um, well... Do you see any bottles of wine on our shelves, sir? I don't even see any shelves. That would be because there isn't any shelves. Oh, well, that does go some way towards explaining it. But, yes, sir. Well, why have you got a sign above the door saying Clayton Wines Limited? It doesn't say that, sir. Yes, it does. I saw it. No, sir, it doesn't. Now, look. Look, I think if you go back outside and have another look, You'll see it say Clayton Wine News Limited. Clayton? What? Oh, oh that's ridiculous. Yeah. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> Clayton Wine News Limited? How on earth? I mean, what can you possibly sell with a place called Clayton Wine News Limited? Well, not to put too fine a point on it. Wine News. <laughs> wine News? Yes, sir. Wine News. Alkid? We sell them. <laughs> Ahoy there! He threw a mask behind! Oh, do you mind? I've been on the Atkins diet for... Uh, um, but anyway, do you think my bum was big in this, sir? Silence, boy. Some scurvy dog be breaking in on our transmissions. Get on to Mr. Wilbur, why find out who this two-legged dogfish be? I am, Captain. Uh, sir. Arr? Why do you keep talking like that? You're from East Cheam and went to a grammar school. <laughs> Get on with your fire, you keel out. Ahoy there! This is Admiral Watchtower of the HMS Mary Whitehouse. Oh, yes. suffering seasick. Attached to the Coast Guard, an authorised nautical transmission squadron. Oh, that's funny. We have reason to believe that you're harbouring German spies. What? What? What did you mean the war's over? Why does nobody tell me anything? Is he for real? Ah, oh, that'd be a matter of opinion. We have reason to believe you're harboring Russian spies. What? No? North Korean? The Communist Chinese? <laughs> the, the Welsh? <laughs> These niggling narjacks be always on our backs. They can't bear the thought that we'd be free men out on the ocean wave. Oh, absolutely. Nothing to do with us pillaging coastal villages and hijacking supply ships to keep going. I thought I told you. Oh, now I remember. You're French. Ready the guns, men. Oh, battle stations. Oh, crossed on a bike. What? What? 
Well, what do you mean? Well, very well. Oh, those were the days back when men were men and the darkies knew their place. <laughs> the Empire! God save the Queen! What the... Oh, where was I? Halfway to the funny farm? We have trace unauthorized transmissions containing material of a frivolous, scurrilous, or corrupting nature to this area, and we believe your vessel to be the source of the transmission. Prepare to be boarded! Tell the swabs to draw their compasses and keep their powder dry. I've got a better idea. What? Stall him. Tell him, tell him we're a weather broadcaster. We'll never be believing that. Well, I've got a plan. Just, just keep him talking. Admiral, let's be cap. <coughs> Kapwinski. Aye, uh, Tom Kapwinski. Uh, the weather and navigation keepers. The what? We're, um, uh, we're set up to provide advance warning of storms and floods and uh, tidal waves and uh, things. We also like to to weather the satellites. You know, there's less light pollution out here. Light pollution? Aye, uh, you know, sunspot activity, that kind of thing. You know, uh, locust swarms, giant crabs. Ah, oh, well, true, true. I have to admit, the worst crabs I ever encountered were on Shoreley at that time in Fort Said, that time back in 52. Ah, those were the days. Sweet Miguel. What? 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 All right, sir, very tricky, very clever, sir. But how do you explain the transmissions traced to this great reference? You're the only ship reported in the area. Arr, I mean, uh, uh, um... Well... Submarines? 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 Aye, submarines. Maybe. Uh, I mean, our uh, very sneaky chaps, these pirates. Aye, here's the submarines. <laughs> <laughs> a likely tale. Very well. If you're a weather station, let's hear a weather forecast. <laughs> um, it's all right, Captain. Come on, Kate. Come on, sir. All right, then, uh, here we go. Why can't they? Why can't they? Why can't they? Oh, and those were the main stories at 7.30 p.m. And now, over to Kate for the weather. Uh, thank you, Stephen. Um, uh, I'm afraid it's going to be a chip day tomorrow for our listeners as we're receiving reports of freak weather conditions heading our way. First up, for residents of the vicinity of Dover and Tilbury, be on the lookout for brightly on pink clouds which should be over you by about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. These are in fact showers of cosmic dust that are seen through the upper stratosphere from the explosion of an alien spaceship passing the moon early this morning. And it's emitting high levels of dangerous radiation. So if you don't want to die horribly wrong, they'll give birth to children resembling two headed frogs. Women, women. My, my advice is to stay indoors. Women. Further north, however, towards Birmingham, things are looking up. As you can see from the satellite picture, well, of course you can't see the picture because this is radio, so you can't actually see it. So you just have to say my way for it, I'm afraid. And I'm a very truthful person, just ask mum or don't, don't go around on your finger, don't, because the tea, oh, it tastes of piss. And she'll start showing you on your baby pictures, or. Uh, 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 sorry. <laughs> right, okay, where was I? Um, right. Oh, yes. From where I'm standing, I can see the wreckage of an alien spacecraft. It's burning up the air of the atmosphere. We create a spectacular cycle and study view of the West Midlands for our tomorrow. So, if you live in Birmingham, my last year is pull a sticky, roll a fat one, and spend the day watching the pretty lights far out. As you, and if you live in Wolverhampton, Elsewhere in the East, stay indoors, but watch the skies as a brief but intense shower of long extinct Devonian era trilobites is expected to fall between 11 a.m. and quarter to 12. I can't be sure exactly when, but these creatures are a very early life form, existed in the warm seas before life rolled out on the land. They've been extinct for over 250 million years. It's worth checking them out, and if you find them that haven't been splashed a bit from landing, it's worth a bob or two. And the museum is offering 100 quid per life specimen. 
Mind you, Manchester doesn't have problems of its own. This is because of the hordes of fire breathing pterodactyls with machine guns. They're equipped to assemble the town any time during the lunchtime. This will make it a pretty rough time to get out of the streets in Manchester until about 2 30 pm. The pterodactyl town then expects the duty first. It's like when its movements will be after that time remain unknown. But anti aircraft defences in Salford, Blackburn, Bolton, and West Bolton have been placed on full alert. <laughs> Satellite photos are showing the four horsemen of the apocalypse heading towards Sheffield. They want to head to the cellar for a big new time. That's the weather at 7.35 pm. I'm Kate Lloyd, back to be changed studio. Thanks, Kate, I think. Thanks, Mark Productions, everybody. That's Mark.